Let's take a look at some Graflex Tribute lightsabers. So these are lightsabers that all kind of contain features from the Graflex lightsaber, although they're an original design at the end of the day, but you can definitely see some design influence from the Graflex lightsaber on these lightsabers. So my sort of reference uh, Graflex lightsaber in this video is going to be a Disney Parks Ray lightsaber. So this was a Disney Parks exclusive lightsaber and it predates the current legacy lightsaber Sabers that you get at Doc Ondor's Den of Antiquities. So this is from before Galaxy's Edge opened. But it's kind of, you know, it, it gives you the overall look of the Graflex style lightsaber. All right, and next to that, this is a custom saber. It's made by High Council Sabers, an Etsy store. And this is called the Starkiller lightsaber. So I don't think it's named after the character Starkiller. I think the source of inspiration for the name is is uh, just the fact that you know Skywalker was originally maybe going to be called Starkiller. So um, I think that's what the inspiration is. But um, you can see it is very graphics inspired. But at the same time, you know the the grips are very different. They're not T-track grips. They're these kind of plastic grips with grooves. The activation box is black and it doesn't quite look um, like the activation box on the Graflex. But um, over here, instead of the glass eye, we have this sort of white piece, and we don't have the circular pieces at all, but we have a lot of uh, brass accents throughout. And then I kind of like this blue thing up here. Um, it's just a little bit of a different color. And I also like that the bunny ears are black. That makes it look pretty different. So um, next to that is the Saber Forge Justicar, and this this um, you know there's several pieces about this that are different. So the activation box is a bit shorter. Um, if we go all the way up to the emitter area, we have some similar circles on the Justicar, and even this square is a little bit similar um, to kind of the rectangles you, you see on there. You don't have a glass eye piece at all. And you're also missing this sort of inside um, blade, uh, what do you call it, blade holder. It doesn't have the inside blade holder to it. And it also doesn't have the bunny ears or the red button. So it's sort of a pared down version of the Graflex lightsaber. But definitely it's its own design as well. And also the grips, um, it's sort of these fluted grips rather than having the T-tracks to it. And, um, you know, also, oh, it is a bit longer, you know, than the Graflex Saber 2. Now finally over here, uh, this is a Seven Chambers The Cade lightsaber hilt, and it's actually inspired by the Cade Skywalker uh, lightsaber, that's a Legends character. But you can see how, you know, the design inspiration for this, it, it does trace back, you know, to the origins of the Skywalker lightsaber, historically, right? So um, the grip section, you know, these are T-track grips at the bottom, but they're kind of long and thin in their design. And the whole hilt overall is, is quite a bit longer. This section here, um, it's kind of like the clamp area on the Graflex style lightsaber, but it doesn't have an activation box at all. And then finally, if we get to the top, there's a little, little piece right here kind of protruding out, but no bunny ears. And also um, we have kind of this slanted emitter and it doesn't have that S curve that we think of with the Graflex style lightsaber. But um, it's just kind of neat to see how, um, you know, uh, the design of the Graflex lightsaber has inspired, oops, one of these grips fell off, has inspired the design of other lightsabers too. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of a look at some of these kind of Graflex tribute lightsabers and it's, it's neat to see how some of the kind of uh, design elements can evolve, you know, um, with some of the different hilts. So feel free to comment below.